that it will be done, that your perfect will please be done, Yahweh. What happens when we get up out of bed? What we going after? the what is in our head? Chasing drugs, sex, money, just to fill the void. But there's something better that we do avoid. Not me, I'm a sip from the living water. Not me, I'm a sip from the living water. Not me, I'm a sip on the living water. Not he doesn't say that her desire is wrong. <laughs> just her source. Just where she's getting where she's getting her desire fulfilled. And I want to make sure I make that clear. Most of us do these things because we feel a certain way inside. I mean, I I know how I was when I was was most people's age in here. And the reason that we have to go out and party is because something else is not going on right in our life. You drink because you're sad. You do drugs because you're depressed. You 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 go out with anybody because you're lonely. Does anybody treat you like anything because you're lonely? And what I want to make sure that everybody knows is we're all thirsty. All of that 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 those issues that you have, you're not weird. Everybody has thirst just like that. And Jesus doesn't say, you're crazy for being thirsty. Yeah. He says, you're thirsty, and I know you're thirsty. But the problem is, you're getting it from the wrong source because you'll thirst again. Uh, my entire life for pursuing things of this world would never satisfy me. And God is the only one who can satisfy any human soul. We were made to know our Creator. That is why every non-believer in this world is constantly longing for something more. The hole in people's hearts can only be filled by God. Well, I just wanted to say that I really enjoyed my time here at Caves tonight, and I really like it here because it's very nice. Um, I would say that, I mean, I didn't imagine it to be this way, but, like, like when I walked in, I was like, oh, I don't know, like, you know what I mean? But <laughs> then when they showed me the music and stuff, like, it touched my heart, like, it makes me feel different, like, it makes me want to, like, everything they say, it just... It just gets to me. And, uh... Hi, my name is Nicole Killian. I came from San Antonio, Texas to be at the cave tonight. I had an awesome time, so everybody out there really needs to get here. It's, it's worth the drive or flight or whatever you have to take to get here. Um, the best part about being here tonight was that earlier this week, God showed me scripture. The same scripture was brought up tonight. Um, I just want to tell everybody out there that if you are sitting home on a Friday night, you are wasting time. Get out here because God's waiting for you. And in the last week, God has drastically changed my life. He's brought me from alcohol, drugs, abuse, everything in one week. He has just brought me to my knees. And you cannot run. You can try, but you cannot run. And you know what? God said in John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief cometh not to steal, kill, and destroy. And the Lord cometh to give life and to give it more abundantly. Hey, what's up, Cave family? Just want to let you guys know that God's been doing some awesome things. Every Friday night, it's been going on for nine months now. Thank you guys for all your prayer and all your support. Tonight was an awesome night, how high, and we found out that we can never thirst again because Jesus is the bread of life, and his source and his well will quench your thirst. So tonight, I just want to let you guys know that I love all you guys. Bring a friend next Friday. You guys are going to love it. See you later.